Hello, everybody, and welcome. This is Adrian. Thank you so much for joining me today. It's going to be time for some European Universalis 4 as Denmark. Let's go and continue on with our Iron Price campaign. It's 1568. The previous episode was actually pretty quiet. There's not much that's going on. Um, I am building up my armed forces to possibly try, and we're going to lose that prestige, try and fight England here pretty soon. Um, let's go and recall a diplomat. We've allied Spain. We're allied to Portugal. We actually lost the Russian alliance. This guy's actually rivaled me now. Holy shit. I didn't even see that. That's kind of scary. Let's see. Pedro El Poleco is now following on Twitch. Thank you so much. Um, I might have to change this rivalry, man. I don't know if I want... Removing Hunger's arrival will cost you 103 Diplo? Uh, that's that's 103 Diplo I can't afford to lose right now. So I guess we're not going to lose that just yet. Um we're not gonna we're not gonna change our rival just yet. Spain declared war on Leon? Really? Independence guaranteed by Portugal, allied with Morocco. Damn, Spain, you a brave, brave boy. Let's see here. <laughs> Somebody said in the Twitch chat, make England England again. <laughs> That's a good one, man, because actually people don't know that the Angles, the Angles um, are a Germanic tribe, right? When you hear the word Anglo-Saxon, that was that was the the basically the peoples that settled England before the Normans had invaded. The Angles and the Saxons were actually from from right here, from this this area. Um, I believe, if I remember correctly, the Saxons were right right about in this area here. Even though this is technically Saxony as we know it today, this is actually this is what they call Lower Saxony, or this is what they call, I believe, Upper Saxony. This is actually called Lower Saxony, or the, the historic kingdom of Saxony was was all right here. You actually notice this in Crusader Kings two during the Charlemagne uh, expansion, and the Angles were actually up here. The Angles came and they and they said that. The Angles came down and the Saxons came down. They actually migrated to England. And uh, the Angles and the Saxons were really in charge of England until at least the Normans. The Normans, you know, of uh, 1066. The Norman conquest of England. Um, happened in 1066. And the Normans are obviously from, from Normandy and Cal. Uh, the Normans, it really means Norsemen. So the Normans were probably the most Viking of all French people at the time. There's fascinating, fascinating history about it. And um, I know when people say the word Anglo-Saxon today, it's got a few different connotations, actually. It's, it's you know, kind of, um, I'm not going to say it's a controversial topic, but when you say Anglo-Saxon, you're really talking about somebody from, like, the British Isles. You know, somebody who looks like they're from the British Isles. So, um, yeah, it's really, so, so I really like that guy's comment about making England Angland again, because... You know, that's really true, man. I mean, English derived from Scandinavian Germanic languages from the Angles and the Saxons when they came here. I believe they came here, they migrated to England in what? The... Shit, that was probably what, the 600s? 600s AD? 700s AD? You know? They were pagan for a while, then they eventually became Catholic. Um, Yeah. I mean, even then, Norse, you know, Norse paganism existed in England until at least... The 900s, um, the great heathen army of the, let's see, the Lodebrook brothers, right? Ragnar Lodebrook and then his brother invaded from Scandinavia. Uh, those They invaded Jorvik here, Yorkshire, in 867. <laughs> Money's worth. <laughs> yeah, so um, that was in 867. They called it the great heathen army, the invasion of, of uh, Anglo-Saxon England. It was in 867 and... and you know, the invasion by the Norsemen with the great heathen army, those guys were, were pagan. So paganism and, and Catholicism and stuff has really been kind of um, closely tied in England for a long time. Okay, anyway, let's go ahead and pause here. That was my little historical rant. Oh, I love history so much. We're going to have some Regan separatists. Let's take a look at this. Conflict within the city. That's you, 1575. Let's go ahead and get some troops. We're going to go ahead and just take like 18,000. That's, that's probably fine. Let's go ahead and raise... I'm gonna pay off that debt. Um, what do I want here? We're gonna take two. It's gonna take two, and yeah, let's do something like that. Excuse me. <clears throat> it's gonna take. Yeah, we'll go ahead and transfer over eighteen thousand to Riga. The the rebellion really should not be that big. It's only twelve thousand. We'll be we'll be fine. Um, do we have any generals? We do. We have a one three three one. Not too bad. I'm hoping I don't get engaged or that the league war doesn't fire at this present moment. Russia declared war on Kazan. Wow, they said holy war, huh? Kazan, no allies at all for you, huh, buddy? Damn, look at this here. Achilia is actually uh, independent here. It's pretty cool. 
What? Whoa, they went reformed. That's pretty strange. Look at this. Montua, Modena, Ferrara. And what looks like, yeah, actually Ferrara is all reformed. That's really weird. Very strange. Reformed is badass. If you guys haven't played as a reformed nation in Europa Universe 4, you really need to. They're really cool. Okay, so it's going to be time to develop some more. I'm going to want to build some churches. Get some, get some money going. I'm going to build churches basically everywhere. Everywhere I can afford at this point. Um, you know, a full every maintenance. I just realized we're making 10 ducats a month. That is excellent. Why is it so high? I'm not even going to question it. It's really good. Let's see here. We're still converting. It's taking a little while, but uh, it's getting there. Yeah, it's, it's getting there. That's, that's fun. Let's see. We got some discoveries in the new world. You see here, Regans. Are you guys going to rise up or what? Let's convert Sutherland. Uh, we got some little bit of corruption. Let's go ahead and raise this here. That's why we're not making any money. That's why. The corruption spending. There we go. Raise that corruption spending. Plast the Blasphemy Act. Hell yeah. Regan Separatists. Definitely. This gives us more missionary strength. That's really good. We got 5.5% uh, now. That's, that's awesome. Depletion of the European Beaver. Uh, that means that price of fur changes by 40%. Nice. Oh, Marguerite's a sinner. Come on, Marguerite. What are you doing, girl? That means that furs are worth a shit ton. 2.8? Nice, man. That's that's excellent, actually. That's really good. We're going to make a crap ton of money, if that's true. Let's see, Lubeck here. Oh, uh, let's see. Can we... huh. our, our trade income has actually declined a little bit. Lose one mercantilism? Fine. That's fine. Let's see, Kazan has been fully annexed. Ooh. Scary. Come on, England, you bastard. Uh, we're going to go ahead and take these techs. Let's go ahead and get to Nail. It was difficult to fire around curved walls. Thus, once attackers got close enough to the fortification, the ability to, um, of other parts of the defenses to provide flanking fire was nullified. Development of star-shaped bastions allowed every part of the wall to be supported from other parts. So bastion is a fort. I, I think it's a nail or it's a nigh. I'm not sure what it is actually. Huh. I have to check that. That's interesting here. Let's go ahead and change this guy to the Latin Caracol Cavalry. Late 16th and early 17th century, the most common combat formation for Western European cavalry was the Caracol. Um, cavalry firing their weapons at a range of 30 to 50 paces. Turned around, returned to the rear of the formation to become the last rank. That's pretty cool. Ooh. I totally forgot about this. We get another um we get another idea group. Oh shit. What's it gonna be? Um Let me see. So so we're not doing that good on administrative. We have a lot of administrative points. We're generating nine a month. We actually already finished military. Uh influence is gonna be there. We're gonna be basically done with that. So what do I need? Do I need more military ideas? Do I need to be better at killing people? Or do I need possibly, honestly, religious is always nice. Like, you, you can't go wrong with religious. Innovative is also pretty damn kick-ass. You can never go wrong with that. Um, if I went quantity, we could get more manpower and the manpower recovery speed. Regiment cost is also super nice. Land maintenance modifier is super good. Uh, the garrison size, this comes in handy a lot more than you think. Land attrition is even better. And then land force modifier plus 50% is kick-ass as well. Um, aristocratic, eh, it's okay. doesn't really come in handy besides this, this military technology cost minus 10%. This is like thousands of points over the course of a game. I don't imagine this campaign is going to be like incredibly long. So we already have defensive. I'm leaning towards quality. Just throw in some infantry combat ability in there just to kill people. But quantity is also really cool for the manpower. I can fight wars for a long time. We already have this manpower recovery speed here, right? The plus 10%. And then we have a lot of naval ideas, so I don't have to worry about our ships. Elite naval tradition, force limit modifier, naval maintenance cost, national unrest, church power, tolerance of the true faith. That's not bad at all. I'm leaning towards quantity. And I think for now, we'll, we'll go ahead and take quantity. I'm not really ahead on, on military tech just yet enough to, to get an idea. I will be getting some, some points here in a little bit. Let's see here. A little bit of force limit here. I got a question in the Twitch chat. Why is the stream cutting out for me? Most likely it's because of your quality options. You gotta you gotta select a quality option for your stream. 
or for your your you know your internet so that you truce with russia huh okay interesting yeah you might just be um tensions between the miners and the locals the influx of german miners and the prospectors has in short time made small mining communities spring up all around our country even in areas where mining will never be the main source of income oh we got some peasants that are mad can you believe it and those regan separatists fired do not meddle in the affairs of the clergy or make them loyal by paying some money screw you i'm not giving you my money shift consolidate here let's go and take a look here let's go to agarshus and any of the rebels where's this really this is all the way up there damn look at that it's all the way in iceland or yeah iceland yes iceland not gonna lie, I get Iceland and Greenland confused quite a bit. <laughs> Shift consolidate here. We get defensive positions here. He has minus one. And he's got no leader. I'm gonna take a look here. Let's go get this 35 stack. We're gonna come up here. Alright, excellente. Excellente. We're gonna go kill those peasants up there in Iceland. Damn peasants. Yeah, England, can you, like, make this legal war fire, please? Like, does... Can we just get some war going on so that there's something happening in the world? I could probably kick your ass, England. Now, I'm not gonna lie. Every other member of the Protestant League is actually kind of scary. I'm a little worried that... We would actually be, like, destroyed by, say... Russia? Or somebody of the like? I don't know. Hard to say. Uh, these peasants are going to engage me here. He's going to be defeated utterly. He cannot withstand the might of Danish firepower. Rajevic. Yeah, I'm going to have to focus on Diplo. In 1578, definitely we're going to have to focus on Diplo. That's going to have to happen here. Uh, France is colonizing the New World. England is colonizing Brazil. Not necessarily... Um, the, like, not North America, where they were before, historically. Let's go to Fife. Uh, do I want to engage Leinster? Savoy, East Frisia, and Alsace? You are Catholic, right? No. No, you are Catholic. Just not yet. You're Catholic, but you're not yet Protestant. You've got a Senate Reformation here. Oh, the Danish trade mission. Let's go ahead and maybe get that one to reset. What do I want here? Can I hire an Inquisitor? That'd be cool. Let's go and lower the army maintenance. We're still reading out some corruption. We're paying five ducats a month on corruption. Holy damn. Do I want Inquisitor? This game, they gain 10 influence here. So a level three costs what right now? I mean, no level threes, really? I'm assuming it's double this cost. So like 12 ducats a month, but I'd be paying only six ducats a month around there. I can afford that, because I, I kind of want all this converted soon. Eh, eh, we'll leave it, maybe for now. Uh, we still have some inflation, 3.84% inflation, that's kind of high. Um, this guy, the National Tax Modifier guy for 3.4 ducats a month, plus two generation, I'll take him, that's that's okay. That'll be fine for now. Okay, so do we have any debt? No, we should have paid back our debt right now. Yes. So I want to build up the navy, um, but I still need to keep building these churches. We just need churches everywhere, everywhere that I can get some money from. These workshops actually might come in handy as well. Workshops are actually worth a lot. I've been not building those. I really should. I really should. Hire the engineer. 40 military power, lose 10 prestige. God damn. Oh, there we go. We're not going to take a loan at least. Thank gosh. <laughs> I, I've taken too many loans. I hate loans, man. Loans make me so mad. <laughs> you would not believe it. Let's see. Guys, really, there is just no war. There is nothing going on right now. I don't even, like... Can I go see wars? Is there any wars going on right now? Spanish conquest of Leon. Are you serious? And Portugal is, like, winning. Spanish Conquest of Leon. That's the only war in Europe that's going on right now. Are you kidding me, man? What is going on here? Leon is 18,000 men? Really? England dislikes me. 
Yeah, like I care. Dude, Spain, what are you doing? What are you doing, buddy? Oh my gosh. He's getting dominated. I don't understand. I don't even know how. Wow, he still lost that battle with superior troops and no negative terrain modifiers. Can you believe it? Incredible. Spanish Civil War version 2. <laughs> That's what they said in the Twitch chat. <laughs> Let's see here. Spain. No, you're you're just not. You're not even a reliable ally. No way. It's not happening. Religious unity, 91%. Um, convert Dorpat to Protestant, the rival of our rival. Conquer Yorkshire. Yes, I'd love Yorbic. That'd be, that'd be nice. Thank you. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe, maybe a Spanish alliance was not the thing to do. If you can't even win a war against Leon, who is like four times smaller than you, I don't know how you expect to win the religious war. Let's see, do I want this admin here 10 years ahead? Yes. We can go ahead and take that. The core creation cost, dude, that's going to save us so many points. And we just got found the Copenhagen, Denmark. Shipbuilding had long been going on in the area for time immemorial, but these efforts were seasonal and ad hoc based on the demand for ships and local timber sources. And then now we have to build a specialist naval dockyard in administration. Awesome. Let's go ahead and take a look here. Churches. Get me some churches. I'm a holy man. Kalmar. Stockholm. Wow, 20 development here in Stockholm. That's pretty damn good. Wow, there's a lot of reformed here. You'd actually be surprised that there's not more people in, in this Catholic League. I guess. I don't know. Bohemia's member of the Protestant League. The Ottomans. France. Flanders. Anybody else? Hmm. Let's see. Should I integrate these guys? I can I can integrate the Palantinet. He's he's reformed. Is he is he with me in the Catholic League? I mean he doesn't have that's right, he doesn't have um He doesn't have diplomacy of his own, so he can't even make that decision. Okay. Do I have any other Von Vittles box anywhere? There's a Von Vittles block on the throne of Bavaria. The Palantinet, Heinut. Oh, ho, ho, look at this, guys. There's a Von Habsburg on the throne of France. Whoa. Hungary, Austria, and Poland have a Von Habsburg. Oh, that's terrifying. That is terrifying. Oh, wow. I can't believe that. England's still got York Dynasty, so I guess they'll have that for a while. Let's go and take this Diplo. Taking that Diplo. Let's see, 0 0.06 for the church. Yes, let's do it. <clears throat> the Ottomans declared war in Persia, the Ottoman conquest of Mosul. Wait, 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 don't tell me. Oh, Russia and the Ottomans have allied. Yep, that's real. That's That makes me feel good. Ottoman Tajaz, Russia, Bayd, Baden, and Bukhara, and Wanpur and Mamanis. Persia, you're going to die right now. I can intervene. I don't think I will. I'm not going to fight the Ottomans and Russia and Baden. No. Not for Persia, by any means. Actually, how, honestly, Russia, how strong are you? 111,000? Whoa. Yeah, it's a lot. Yeah, I'd rather uh, sit that one out. <laughs> I'd rather sit that one out. Yeah, that's, that's not going to happen. Although, I would like to attack somebody else. That'd be nice. Can I attack somebody else? Like Death Martian? Or Lubick? Yeah, Austria, you're not being nice. You're not You're not helping me out, man. You're not helping me out at all. I could, Just let me attack some people. I can totally, totally satisfy your needs for bloodshed. And to convert people to Catholicism, even though I'm Protestant, I will do it for you. Austria, I will do it. Believe it. Believe in me. Oh, guys, look at this. Look at this. Can you believe this? What is with Leon, man? He's allied with Morocco. Literally, that's it. I think he just rivaled. Yeah, he just rivaled Portugal, dude. What is this? There's like three different Spains. Portugal, Leon, and Spain. And then Morocco, for some weird reason, just took 
Upper Andalusia. He took uh, Almeria. And then there's actually Spanish Italy, which is kind of cool. Wow. I cannot believe that. Let's see. Marcus Hess. The growing economy of Copenhagen, Malmo, and other rich market towns has seen the emergence of a new breed of burger aristocrats. Loans, you say? <laughs> Let him do what he does best. Become a traitor. Um, honestly, the Master of Mint, I will take that. The Master of Mint, yes. Level 2 Master of Mint. He's 33 years old for 3.44 ducats a month. That is a damn good deal if I ever heard of one. I will absolutely go ahead and take that. Commonwealth has embraced the printing press. Let's go and take a look here. I want to take a look. Austria, yeah, you're you're not really going to help me out, are you? I would love to attack somebody, but he's just not going to do it. Yeah, no, no. It's not going to happen. Damn you, Austria, you suck. I mean, I could declare on England. I, I could win a war against England. But it's just everybody else that I'm concerned about. Right? I mean, if I call them in here, I'd be fighting so many people. Ottomans, Russia, they're all... They're all co-belligerents. Like, that's just scary. Hmm. Hey, Leinster. Leinster converted to Protestantism. Thank you, man. You're, you're cool. Do you want to be my vassal? Do you want to be my vassal? He wants an alliance. Do you want to be my vassal? Danish military power. Oh, our king is tolerant. That's nice. That's cool. Do you want me my vassal? Do you want to transfer trade power? Man, you suck. You little bastard. Don't make me come and kill you, Leinster. I'll do it. Okay, we're still ahead on admin. It's going to take this. This is uh, mercenary maintenance minus 25%. Not bad at all. Bookkeeping. Yeah, we'll want bookkeeping. Quantity. Uh, eight years ahead. I'm going to go ahead and take this. This national manpower modifier plus 50%. We'll get about 20... Yeah, 22,000. 22,500 men. And the manpower pool. And then we're going to get national unrest here. Uh, national unrest minus one. Then Dansk Lof. Missionary strength for the clergy. Taunts to the true faith. Yeah, taunts to the true faith. Missionary strength is actually not bad right now. It's it's 5.5%. That's actually pretty high. I think we'll be fine. We'll we'll be fine. <clears throat> um, let's take a look here. So we're gonna keep converting. That's gonna happen. We want to keep building churches. That's also gonna happen. Uh I need some monies. I just want my income to be very, very high so that I can support a very large navy. That's what I want. We're going to go ahead and take this quantity. Yep, I want this. I want this here. Yes. What is our lightship combat ability? That's our that's our tradition? or an No, that's our ambition once we get all these points. Okay. Felt hats. Price of fur changes by 35% until 2nd of January, 1821. Local autonomy in Oplandin. That's fine. It, wait, did you say furs again? Really? This price is even higher? Dude, look at this trade power. Look at this value, 3.5. That is incredibly high for all of this. All of this. This is all like Finland. All of northern Scandinavia is all producing furs. Dude, at 3.5 current price, that is incredible income. Let's go to embargo Russia, you bastard. Are you borrowing me? Make me mad. Uh, intervene in the war. Yeah, dude. Minus 88% war score for that guy. Livonian separatists. I mean, you guys are so needy. Let's go ahead and transfer the army over. We got, uh, 10, 4, and 4. Livonians here. They're going to rise up when? 17,000 men. Wow, that's actually quite a bit. 80% here. About 2.8 years in Leafland. Apparently, Twitch chat thinks my Danish is good. I don't know. I just pronounce it the best I can. It like I always thought Danish just sounded similar to like German, so I just like pronounced it like kind of in a German accent, like Fien, you know, Schleswig, uh, Holstein. Uh, this is what Westjylland, Nordjylland, Ostjylland, Kolding, Saland. Uh, this is Lund. I think that's Gonj. I'm not sure to pronounce it. Bleking, Bornholm, Holland, Elfsborg, uh, Tiohard, Kalmar, uh, Stockholm. That's I mean that that, that you know. 
That one's pretty straightforward base logging. I got a shus. Let's see, trying to log. Yeah, I don't know. I'm not good with them, but I'm not good with uh with accents. <clears throat> Let's see here. Yeah. Uh I'm very excited though. I'm very excited to conquer you, England. As soon as like some sort of league war fires or something or the other. The, okay, this this Protestant League is pretty big. Damn. Can is there can I see the leagues? I actually do want to check this out here. It probably under diplomatic, right? Trade leagues. I've got trade leagues. I've got great powers. Wow, is that what it looked like? Wow, it's actually pretty big. Uh rivals. Those are my rivals. Hungary, England, Commonwealth. Rival and enemy. Russia, therefore they rival no, Russia has as their rival, therefore they are our enemy. Okay. Yeah, we're gonna change that from Hungary. Hungary is not a rival to me at all. Oh, he slandered my merchants. You suck, bro. Do you want me on my vassal? Do you want me on my vassal? No. You want an alliance though. Uh actually that works out fine, I guess. Sure. Why don't you be a vassal? Alright, why don't you be my ally? Um, yeah, I want to see if I can get my, my dynasty on your throne. That would be pretty nice. Finally those Livonians rise up. Uh let's see, money? Churches, money. We are holy. Desk again. Shift consolidate. Nice. Killed those guys. Estonian separatists here in 29.7 years. So that means we can lower maintenance. Let's go down. How's that corruption? It's, uh, it's at two. We don't have any stability. Genemacy is fine. Prestige is okay. Wow. Look at that manpower. 60,000 manpower. That's good. Good stuff. England. How strong are you? 51 force them at 30,000 man, 36 manpower. It's not too bad. Is he over here in the New World? You know what? I think he is. He's he's expanded into Mexico here. England has declared one of the Aztecs. You dirty bastard. You dirty bastard. Muskets are bows. An argument is broken out in court over the importance of musket compared to the traditional archery regiments. Of course, archery should serve a primary role. It's time for these old men to retire. 15 armor tradition. Yep. Oh, whoa, 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 wait, what? Whoa, whoa, why, why is the league not here? Oh my god, he's not the leader of the league anymore. <gasps> Prepare for battle, men. Ah, it's gonna happen. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and take a quick break here. We invade England, and then we kill England. Yes. Alright guys, thank you so much for watching, and uh, I'll see you guys in the next episode. Thank you so much for watching as always. Please make sure to like, subscribe, and comment. Maybe check out Patreon. And I'll see you guys soon. Thanks so much.